Hello guys, Axel here, and welcome to Samuel Says. So this is what the module looks like, and the only thing I can say right now is this is what we're going to press to start, and this is what we can press to turn on colorblind mode. Other than that, let's just get started. So we'll see flashing colours in two different types of length. We only have one here, but... Oh yeah, you can also press this button to mute it. Which we're going to do for this just in case it's coming up by talking. So... I can see. But you can turn it back on again by pressing it again. We have colours flashing in a certain order, in certain length. Which is, these are all dots, by the way. These are all dots, but the dashes will just be longer. So let's note this down. Red, yellow, red, and dot, dot, dot. I'm going to copy this, because we're going to be modifying this sequence here, on these first four stages. But we also have to keep note of the colour we press. We're going to take note of the colour we press, and if any quirks happen. I'll go over the ones that I get during this and then go over the rest of them to the best of my knowledge at the end. So, go red, yellow, red, so we go in order, so red is first. The display sequence is dot dash dot. The display sequence is what we have. The modified sequence is what we currently have. This is what we had at the start, the display sequence that is. So the display sequence, okay the initial sequence, is dot dash dot, it's dollar dot, so it's not that's not right. Colour red has appeared in every display sequence so far. This is the only display sequence we have and it has red in it, so we're going to follow this rule and we're gonna make everything red. So this yellow will become a red. And then we're going to go to the yellow rule. The display sequence is dash dot dash dash dash. It's still dollar dot, so no. The stage number is equal to the number of batteries. We have no batteries, so this will never be true. So as Shadow Sun Sense present, we don't actually have any other modules here. So that's not right. The display sequence has more than one yellow. It only has one yellow. So that's false, so we do the no other conditions applied. Shift the colours to the right twice, but keeping the symbols as they are, that wouldn't have actually mattered. For either of them, actually. But if we add other colours, we would take the last two here and move them to the right. It's sort of the case of anything that comes off the end loops back around to the start. And I'm going to go back to red. If we get the same rule as the first time, we're going to use the rule above it as what it is. So the display sequence is still not that, but every display sequence still has red in it. But we've already made everything red, so we're now going to swap the dots with, with dashes. Swapping dots with dashes, be careful with this. We only have dots here, so this will change the dashes. But the word with implies that dots go to dashes and dashes go to dots, so be careful of that. So we would normally calculate this, but we actually got an interesting case where all three are the same. So we know we're going to be pressing a red dash for this first one. To, to make a dash, you just hold the button until the dash appears on the small screen. Okay, there are no quirks currently, so let's let's just do the next stage. We have green, yellow, red, and link dot dash dash. Okay, so now going to green first. The display sequence is not dash dash dot. Green is in position two in the display sequence. No, it's in position one. This is the first green displayed symbol so far. It is. We didn't have any greens in the first one, so this is the first green one we have. Change position one to green and the rest to red. So this yellow becomes a red. 
and onto yellow. The display sequence isn't this. The stage number is equal to the number of batteries we already clarified is not going to be true. This isn't going to be true because we don't have any other modules. The display sequence has more than one yellow. It still only has one yellow. So we're going to use this rule again. So shift the colours to the right twice, keep them as simple as they are. So we're going to move these two reds to the start, basically. And then red. The display sequence is dot dash dot. That's yeah, not true. The colour red has appeared in every display sequence so far. It has, so we're going to make everything red. And now since we have different symbols here, we're going to use the determine the position. The growth position is to make x, the x is shown here. Modulo the length of the modified sequence. So this will be 3, and then plus 1. This is not length of modified sequence plus 1. This is the length of modified sequence, and then afterwards you add 1 to the final result. So since we're in stage 2, in stage 2 x is the number of ports. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six ports. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six modulo three is zero. Plus one is one. So we're going to be submitting, hopefully, a red dot. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is blue, yellow, yellow, and this is dot dot dash. Just to show you what the colour band looks like. Just this. So, if let's do this again, we still have no quirks. So, so I know we need to red here as well. That's not the right one. Okay, blue. This basic sequence is that? No. There's been a blue in position 3 at any point in the modification process of this stage, including the space sequence. No, it hasn't. Blue has always been in the first position because we haven't changed anything. The space sequence did not form a valid Morse letter. So let's check if dot dot dash is a valid Morse letter. It is, it's uniform. So, that one is not true either. Every colour appears at least once across the space sequence of the current modified sequence. We only have blues and yellows in both of them, so no. So, no other conditions applied. We're going to change the first few positions to blue and the rest to red. So, these two are blue and that one's red. And then, we're now going to do yellow twice. The display sequence is this, no. The station number is equal to no batteries, we already know that's not true. That's not, this is not true. The display sequence has more than one yellow. This is true. So we're going to change all pos position 3 to blue. Which is what we have already. Because we're changing all but position 3. Position 3 isn't blue anyway. At least two are blue already. So we didn't have to change anything for that one. But then we're going to go down yellow again. So we've got this, no, this, no, this, no. We've got this again, which is true. So we're going to go to one above it to make positions one and two yellow. Again, since we have different symbols, we're going to determine the position. This time using the number of indicators. We have one indicator. So that's going to be position one no matter what. Because 1 modulo 3 is 1, plus 1 is 2. So we're going to be switching the second position, which is a yellow dot, hopefully.
Okay, we, we still do not have a, a quirk. That's surprising. So green, blue, blue, blue. And dash, dash, dot, dash. So, green. The display sequence is this? No. Green is in position 2 in the display sequence? No. This is the first green display symbol so far? No. <coughs> the number of dots in the modified sequence suffice to say with the number of unique part types. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No, that's not easy. No, it's not true. Now the condition applies. We're going to remove position 2 and the pin to green dot. So, we have to copy this, and we're going to move position 2, add up in the green dot. And now, we're going to do blue three times. The display sequence is this, no, there's blue, been a blue in, posi in position 3 at any point during the modification process, including the display sequence, that is true. So we're going to shift everything to right by 1. Then blue again, we're going to hit this again. So we're going to go up, reverse the symbols, could be in the colours that they are. So it's going to go from dot dash dot dash to dash dot dash dot. And then we're going to get the same magnitude again, because we're doing blue again. So there's been a blue position 3. So we've done that, we've done that, so we're going to loop back to the bottom. Change the first two positions to blue and the rest to red. First two positions to blue and the rest to red. So this is our final sequence. So, this time we use the number of modules. We have one here. So again, that's going to be position two, which is a blue dot. And then, now we're on stage five. We're going to I'm going to show you why you need to keep track of both the colours you press and the quirks you got. So since we didn't actually get any quirks, let me quickly just go over what you can get. We have Ghost. A sequence of buttons is pressed by the ghost in the machine. You will see that by the bo buttons at the bottom here being lit up randomly without you touching them. And to, to respond to it, we just press the buttons in the same order as the ghost. But if you you put in, start put in the sequence, you forgot where you got to. You can press the grey button to reset it. We have stutter. Each symbol flashes multiple times before the next one. You can see this if you have a sequence that's longer than norm, longer than four, like four. What am I trying to say? Here? Four symbols long. Yeah, see what there's more than four symbols long, and there's no. There is a looping point, but you'll see why in a minute. So each symbol flashes multiple times before we move on to the next. We're going to press the colour with that flashes the most, pressing either of the, them if there's more than one. So that one's a nice simple one. So like for, say, this one, you'll go blue dot, blue dot, blue dot, yellow dot, yellow dot, yellow dot. Yellow dot. And then yellow dash, yellow dash, or something like that. Rather than just blue dot, yellow dash, yellow dash. Unstable. One position in the space sequence will alternate between a, being a dot and a dash. That's why I always turn the sound back on, just to check if one thing went from a boop to a long boop. But, okay, switching between them. In that case, we just press the the button in reading order, which is sufficient of this unstable one. Overclock, this is what I was talking about. There's no pre pause between the pieces of the sequence. You can spot this by just constantly flashing with no clear point where, where it started. This one, you just spam the buttons until all the buttons light up. V virus.
I was just going to say, Virus is the only one I don't think I've had yet. But every button becomes purple, and the display does not flash. So all of these buttons will become purple, and th this screen will not flash. If you can see that, this screen that's flashing right now will, will be flashing, and all of these will be purple. Pressing buttons according, press buttons according to the number of regular submissions so far. So, if you've submitted one, as you can see, there's no four here because you won't get one after four. Then you just press the buttons in that order. Discolored. The small screen would light up to show colour. That's this small screen that you press to activate colourblind mode. And this one's nice and simple. Press buttons with colours according to the colour of the display. To say you've got cyan, you just press blue, yellow, yellow, green, and then continue on. And finally stuck is if you... It would be lit up, and if you tilted it up, you would see one of the buttons was pushed in. Touch the stuck button when the last digit timer N is N, when it is number of several modules. So in this case, you would have pressed it when the last digit was zero. So that's all the quirks. We didn't actually get any of the quirks. So we're going to use this rule. If no quirks appeared, leave the sequence as is. But first, tell you this an entire word to be transmitted so you can use it to finally escape the device and design the module. Now that visually there's no difference between this stage and the previous four, and in this case, it looks identical to the previous stage. Take only the symbols for this display sequence, so... So it's going to be dash dash dot dash again. So if this does not form a valid Morse letter, we're going to use the word Samuel, let's just say. This is a valid Morse letter, Q. So let's note that down for now. And since no quirks appeared, we're leaving the sequence as is. But if you had other quirks, you would instead remove, move or shuffle around the the symbols to get a different letter. If the sequence is now empty or does not form a valid Morse letter, we didn't change it, so it's going to be Morse. We'll use Morse as the word. So the sequence being empty would be. If you removed, removed the first two positions, for example, but you only have two positions to begin with, so you get nothing, you would use the word Morse. But since we have Q, we have Quebec. We are now going to transmit the word Quebec, funny enough, is the example here, as a string. So Q is that, U is this E is just a dot B is this E is this a dot again and C is this and you can see up here that that's what it is up here and now the colours we had, red, red, yellow, blue, we're gonna, gonna repeat that red, red, yellow, blue to input these. So and looping back around to the start when we run out. So this is what we're gonna be inputting. So we're gonna start with red dash, red dash, yellow dot, blue dash, we get Q. And then dot, dot, those two red dots, yellow dash, U, blue dot, E, red dash, red dot, yellow dot, blue dot, we get B, red dot, we get E, and then red dash, yellow dot, blue dash, and then finally red dot. We get a self module. Do you see this is quite a long module? In terms of explanation at least. <laughs> and 
I'm sorry that uh, we couldn't get to see any of the quirks. But hopefully my explanation makes you understand what what you would say. Just to go over those again. Ghost, you just press the buttons as the ghost presses. In the same way that the ghost presses them. Stutter, you press the button that flashes the most in the sequence. Unstable, you press the button whose position really or is the unstable one of the flipping symbol. Overclocked, the constantly flashing one is you to press it, and from my experience, it's not going to be like instantaneous, you have to press it for quite a bit. Virus, I am got, but this is self explanatory. Press buttons according to the number of regular submissions so far. So if you're on stage two, that would be one. If you're on stage is three, that would be two. And if you're on stage four, that would be three. And you press them in disorder. Discolored. We just press the buttons in the order given by the colour of the display. And stuck is the only really time dependent one. We had to press when the last digit is the is module term the number of self modules. So if we had like eight self modules, we press it when the last digit was eight. And then we go through this so if, so if we had two quirks appear and they were different, we would have shifted the whole sequence to the right by two. If three quirks appeared and only two were the same, we move the third position for example. Checking uh, before and after if there's a there are valid words and if at either point isn't we get given our word, Samuel or Morse. And then we spell out the native native alphabet, the native native alphabet word, using Morse code even. So yes, you might end up get, having to spell out November. You might get something easy as November, or as... Not easy as November, but as hard as November. And then easiest is all the, the four-letter words here. Anyway, hopefully you understand how Samuel Says works. Hopefully this actually helps, despite the fact that you didn't get to see any of the quirks. But the, basically, the first four stages are the same. The last stage requires your notes from the previous few stages. So hopefully that makes sense. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I'll see you later.